first time I've seen Harris do a little bow. Uh, <laughs> after saying nothing of consequence. <laughs> We were always on our way, rolling up our sleeves, ever moving forward in the track.
very much. Uh, in the van earlier today on the way here, Don made the um, observation or uh, postulate that uh, all of us in our own individual ways since meeting him have been sort of on a, on a quest to become more like Taylor Ashton. Uh, <laughs> uh, and I, I agree with that. Um, he, he's a wonderful man and we love his music. I was telling him I was really excited to tell him how excited I was, uh, or how much I liked his new uh, record, and I complimented him, and he seemed very excited, and then we determined that uh, the, the record I was complimenting was not the one that he thought I was complimenting, <laughs> um, uh, but he was very graceful about that. Um, the one that he, I wasn't complimenting is his new solo record, which I haven't heard yet, uh, that I felt uh, embarrassed about, uh, not even knowing. Uh, apparently he sent us a secret link, it's not out yet, but um, I, was, I was way behind and I was complimenting, fortunately, the one that he does have with him tonight, uh, the album with Courtney Hartman, which is amazing, um, and so you guys should check that out. Uh, but again, uh, we love each other, Ashton. Please give him one more round of applause. Uh, <laughs> making multiple records at once is one of the ways that we are all striving to be more like Taylor. I don't think you can feel too bad, Dave. You complimented a record that he was at least a part of. <laughs> like, it would have been really awful if you'd been thinking it was just a totally different person. <laughs> well, don't think I didn't have that moment of panic. <laughs> Thank you.
Taylor was saying earlier, it is nice to play in such a natural wooden upside down ship here. Houses <laughs> and you know when the doors have the little uh, metal hook that goes into the loop instead of a regular, well, what I think of as a standard door situation. <laughs> That's. What, is there a name for those little? Sorry, I lost you. Are you, are you talking about a, a lock for the door? Or are you talking about the door? Yeah, the little lock, the, the, the little like the little, little hook. Little latch. Uh, latch. Latch. Yeah. <laughs> That's, the, that's the term. <laughs> <laughs> is the whole thing the latch, or is one part the latch and one part the latchy? What sounds like loop? The latchy. Loop. Loop. Loop and the latch. The, the loop and the latch. It's a hook and an eye. Hook and an eye. Oh wow. There is a word. Thank for God we have an architect in the house. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, Dave. It's like a crazy nautical term. Yeah. I feel like that's a criteria for good buildings. Uh, the one in here in the bathroom, at least, does not work. Because <laughs> I went busted right through it when I was. <laughs> oh, we're we're going to do a song that's just in celebration of the room itself. This is a good place. <laughs> something, either move closer to it or yell at it. <laughs> <laughs>
take a moment to introduce each member of the band. Um, typically, I prepare these beforehand, but since Dave just mentioned that Don mentioned that all of us want to be more like Taylor Ashton, I uh, <laughs> figured I would try that theme and wing it and see what happened. So, uh, to my left is Harris Pasolino. Harris from Chicago, Illinois. He plays cello and guitar. In addition to being a musician, Taylor Ashton is a visual artist. Uh, if you go to his website, you can find he does a lot of drawings. Um, doodles, often on napkins, etc. Harris, uh, at one point, before, Harris, uh, right after graduating college, we all moved into a house together, and Harris had a lot of big plans about all the things he was hoping to do in addition to playing music. He was hoping to, like, garden and leave the garden, even though we were it was a rental situation, so none of this made any sense. He was hoping to make his own art for his room. He was going to do his own painting and hang it up. Uh, he was going to he was gonna, like bake bread. There were all of these plans, none of which, of course, came to fruition. Uh, but I think I think the fact that Taylor is able to balance both a musical and a visual art, the life of both a musician and a visual artist, is something that should be inspiring to Harris if it isn't already. Harris <laughs> Bassett. Uh, My immediate right is Dave Seff. Dave is from Bedford, New York. He plays kick drum and bass and guitar. Taylor is from Canada, uh, which, uh, which isn't the most um, exotic locales, but it is not this country, which carries, I think, a certain charm. Uh, Dave, I think, is the most susceptible to the charm of someone who is not from where he's from. Uh, I'm not going to get into that any further, but I think, <laughs> I think it's real, and he experiences it, and I think he is uh, uh, more taken by Taylor because of it than we are taken by him. We are all taken by him, of course, but not as much because of the Canadian thing as Dave. <laughs> uh, To my far right is Don Mitchell. Don is from Lakeville, Connecticut. He plays banjo and guitar. Something I think that Don could do a better job of, that Taylor does a great job of, <laughs> is that Taylor is a tall man, but he's also, he, do, he doesn't present as being tall. He's just, he's sort of, he seems like he's a gentle small man. And then you get up close and you realize, oh, he's actually got five inches on me. Um, Don, I never have that feeling with <laughs> I always know that Don is taller than I am. And I think, he could do better uh, with that. Don Mitchell, everyone. <laughs> My name is Oyan Bogerji. I'm from Kansas City. I play mandolin and violin, and I am trying to learn guitar. Taylor Ashton plays guitar. Thank you so much. <laughs> Yeah, when I, when I brought this up, it was more of a positive spin, sort of a like, what do we like about Taylor? And not so much like, what do I hate about all my friends? That they do and then let's tie that into something about Taylor that he's better at. But yeah, I just wanted to clarify. The introductions I was going to do were about Cod. Uh, <laughs> This was more fun, and I'll do a card one next time I'm back. <laughs> Which is a fish. <laughs>
share an orange. We share a single orange. Um, on our rider each evening, we are supplied with two oranges. One is for Juan, and one is for me and Don to share. I like a whole orange. <laughs> what happened today was Don ate the entire orange, <laughs> which I had been thoroughly looking forward to. Um, and then when I said, where is that orange? We could actually smell fruit being opened in the back of the van. And I thought to myself, that's citrus fruit. <laughs> it smells like our orange is being opened up. And we can commune around this common food <laughs> that we will eat together as we do each day. Um, and then he said that he had eaten the entire thing. So the other orange was being opened by Oyan, who then gave me about a quarter of that orange, which was really nice. But then Don clarified that the orange that he had eaten was smaller than the one that Oyan had eaten. So that actually the volume of the orange that I was eating, which was a quarter of Oyan's, was actually half of the one that he had eaten. So everybody was winning. Don also made the claim that he had eaten one half for himself and then the other half for Harris. <laughs> Isn't how eating works in my experience. Uh, I mean, there's a history here. <laughs> uh, it's because often I sit in the passenger seat up front, and so when Harris is trying to save his voice, I will uh, perform duties as mouthpiece for the boy, the boy being my nickname for Harris, um, and I will turn around and yell at the other guys uh, what Harris is thinking instead of him having to do it. So when I eat his half of the orange, it's with precedent. <laughs> Here's, uh, <laughs> I will eat this Clementine.
bedrooms here are also bedrooms and have a bed in each. Uh, and as Don was um, uh, writing the set list for tonight, he asked me if I would stop bouncing on the bed, which has never happened to us before. <laughs>
to make it up to Harris by bringing him two clementines. <laughs> so that's why I was especially cold that now he's sharing the clementine of forgiveness and me making it up to him with Owen instead. <laughs> seems like a simple solution, but we used to have more things on the rider like that, and then we would waste some of them and feel bad about it. Sharing guilt is way worse than sharing citrus. <laughs> have your needs changed? Do you want more than half an orange every day, or were you just feeling especially greedy this morning? <laughs> no, I just, I just felt like Harris needed help with that particular orange. <laughs> I was actually overstuffed with orange. <laughs> I had a sandwich today called The Rider, spelled with a Y. Are there foods that this area is known for? Oysters. Oysters? Cool, thank you. <laughs> Oh, she's 
all so much. We have one more song for you, but before that, if we could please get another round of applause for Taylor and Rachel. <laughs> yes! Uh, <laughs> my heart skipped a beat when you all started laughing. I was worried that I'd said something wrong, but then I realized why, and I figured it out, so thank you <laughs> uh, for giving me that space. Um, a huge thank you as well to Cami and Josh and all the folks responsible for putting this wonderful series together. It's really an honor to be part of it this year, and uh, they've been in touch for, for years with us, and we're so grateful to finally get to play this space. So thank you so much for having us here. <laughs> Big thank you as well to Mr. Andrew Nault, who we imported from Boston, Massachusetts to run sound for us. Thank you, Andrew. And uh, this Playing this town uh, is very special to me because I had a, very, a pretty magical moment happen here um, about a decade ago, I think. Uh, I was visiting here with my family, and as I said, I grew up in Kansas City, and uh, my parents immigrated from India, so there's, there's some cultural differences between the Delhi and Kansas City and P-Town. And so <laughs> we got here, and I think on the first night, there was a group of men uh, in tidy whities dancing on the back of a a pickup truck <laughs> and um, we all we watched of course for several minutes and then my dad was like all right I think we should go to the dinner reservation my mother said we are not going anywhere <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, we watched the rest of what we thought was the show but might have just been a bunch of guys having a regular Tuesday night uh, in town, and it was just a cool sort of time for me to see another facet of my mother's personality. So, <laughs> I'm grateful to you all for bringing that to me and to be here now to play the show and all of that. Again, our name is Darling Side. We are from Boston. We are so happy to be here. Thank you all so much for spending the time. <laughs>
Are we arranged in a pleasing way? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the smoke I put back into the smoke sack. And the napkins formed into the ancient tree. And the ice came out of the ocean. Oh, yeah, and you are coming home to me. And Nicole. Split the animal and the chimpanzee forgot how to fight, and then moving back into the water. Oh, yeah, you're coming home tonight. Oh.
like an antique Or maybe it rings like an old bell Wishing us some kind of farewell Away from the window a beacon With a bat now and end of the season Followed by a blue with his two doves Sharp in the heat of the summer And true then words are alone Rachel Price and Taylor Ashton, everyone.